This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, friends, we're here. We're in Lucina, Lucina, Spain. This is the city of the Rif, Rabbeinu Yitzchak, Hakoyen. The Rif. Now we know that the Rif is one of the main backbone of Halacha. The, uh, the approach of the Beis Yosef is he takes two out of three. The Rambam, the Rif, and the Rush. But the truth is, it's mostly the Rif. Because Kemat, everything the Rambam says is the same as the Rif. The Rambam even writes that he can't even find ten things that the Rif ever said that he would possibly challenge. So let's speak a little bit about the Rif's approach to Halacha. Again, the Rif is the, the uh, foundation of all Halacha. I want to share with you a Rif at the end of Masech the Erevin. So Halacha is Kli Shir, our Usr on Shabbos. You're not a sound musical instrument on Shabbos. The Shaila is, we just went down there. To, to get a Pesach, to be Zoycha, to go to the Rif. Now I understand why we had a knock on the door. Oh, it was the Hashkacha that we, we, didn't, we didn't get in right away. Because the Rif has a Shiloh. Why should it be that all these houses around here, the most, right? how do you knock on the door? You, you can't don't go knock like this. They have a big metal thing, you, you know, a knocker. The Shiloh is, are you allowed to make noise if it's not the Derech Shir? That's one of the big Yisoyedists of the Rif. So it's the Machloikis, the Bavli, and the Yushalmi. The Bavli says, you're allowed to use a knocker on Shabbos because it's not B'derach Shir. The Yushalmi says it's Asr. Says the Rif, many Chachamim, what he refers to is, Rabbi Nochanan will say, you're not allowed to use a knocker on Shabbos. But the Rif says that it's a mistake. We don't pass like Rabbi Nochanan. We hold, you're allowed to use a knocker on Shabbos. Why? Since the Bavli says you're allowed to use a knocker, you're the Gemara de Bnei Marava, we don't care about the Yushalmi. Why? The Gemara de Lon Samchinon. The Basrahi. The Bavli came last. The Inu Havi Baki, the Gemara de Bnei Marava Tveminon. The Bavli, the Bavlon, knew the Yushalmi better than you, even though you have art scroll. Still, the Bavlon knew the Yushalmi better. V'yu lav de kimle de haimem de merah lav de samchi. If the Bavli didn't hold that the Yushalmi was incorrect, like Hashor le'inu, the Bavli would not have allowed it. So therefore, the hashkoch is around the rifts kever. There are, there are knockers everywhere. Why? Because according to the rift, you're allowed to use a knocker on Shabbos. So that's already one hashkoch. Otherwise, if we would have gotten in right away, you would not remember this machlokes Bavli Yushalmi. Now, for the rest of your life, you're going to think about the kever of the rift, all the knockers. They're very nice knockers. You should take pictures, go to Coney Island Avenue, ask them to order the knockers of Lucina, Spain. I'm going to tell you another thing about the kever of the Rif. The Rif was so great in Halacha, you could learn something out from the Nusach of his Matzeva. There's a story in Hungary in the 19th century where there's a family who put, as part of the text of the kever, they wrote the name of Hashem on the kever. And the Rav of the Kehillah forbid it, and the family persisted, and they put the name of Hashem on the kever, and lo and behold, they go for the Hakamas Matseva, the Matseva cracks in half. So the Rav says, you see, Ashkacha Pratis, obviously, you know, I'm correct. Says the Chsam Soifer, the Rav was dead wrong. Chsam Soifer, Likutei Tshuva, Yischoi Shemishvat Simen Hey. It's irrelevant what Simonim and Hashemayim take place. Hashem wanted the cover of the Rav to be intact, so he had the cover break in half. But the Rav was still wrong. How do we know the Rav is wrong? Says the Chassam Sefer, why didn't the Rav know the Nusach of the Matseva of the Rif? And if you ask, how is any Rav supposed to know the Nusach of the Matseva of the Rif, you can't even get into the cemetery. The answer is, if you look at the end of Masech Brachas, it's printed the Nusach of the Matseva of the Rif. Who? Derek Shir. Who, who wrote the Nusach of the Matseva? Rav Moshe ben Ezra and... Rabbi Huda Halevi, the author of the Kuzari. And on the Nusach the Matzeva, the Rif, it says the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu three times. Elohim, Shakai, Kel. Says Achsam Soifer, if on the foundation of Halacha, it says Hashem's name on his Matzeva, we pass in your ladder, write the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu on the Matzeva. I, the nace happened to the Rav. He needed a job, so Hashem uh, kept his covered which is a very important lesson. People say, oh, I went to someone and he made a nest, he made a moi face. All that shows is he needs a parnasa. But that doesn't show anything more than that. Um, the Rabbi Yaakov Mimorosh. I want to say this by the kever, but let's just, uh, we'll say it here as well. He wrote a sefer called Shas Tshuvas Menas And he sent questions up to Shemayim. And on one occasion he asks, 
Who do we paskin like? Do we paskin like the Rif or other Rishonim? Min Hashemayim, they said, Vadai halacha kerif ki of ma'oid, like the Pasuk says, ve'es brisi akim es yitzchak. Hashem makes a covenant with the Rif, the halacha is like the Rif. So, zuchusay yagein aleinu. By the way, the Tzedel Lederach brings down that it would be humanly impossible for anyone to compile a Sefer like the Rif if they did not have Ruach HaKodesh. So the commentary of the Rif was written Ruach HaKodesh. Okay, Rabbi Sir, we're still here. Let's talk about some of the Mefarshim on the Rif. Does anybody know? The halacha, that, that, would you tell us that the story with Babli and uh, Yushami, that, that rule applies to the old Yes, Shami. that all we all always pass in, like the Babli over the Yushami. Rule, knew. Yeah. yeah, now I just want one last thing. We know how many Rishonim wrote Perushim on the Rif. The Chida brings down their L'chala Pachos, 12 Perushim on the Rif. Who knows? You have Rab- Rab- Rabbeinu Yohanan's son? A Gadol who lived in Gerona wrote a parish on the Rif. Who? Rabbeinu Yohanan. Nimuke Yosef. Rabbi Huda Al-Madari. The Ritva wrote a parish on the Rif. And Ma'ir Katan. Rabbeinu Yishmael. Rabbeinu Tam wrote a parish on the Rif. Hagois on the Rif, like we see in the Smag. The Ran. The Rajbam wrote Hagois on the Rif. Rabbi Abba Mari Bar Yosef wrote Hagois on the Rif. The Rav Ho'ita wrote Hagois on the Rif. So the Rif is the uh, foundation of Halacha. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.